and welcome back to the Mocha Housewife. I want to show you today how I made this super cute sorority inspired paddle for one of my clients. So if you would like to see how this went down and how you can make your own, just keep watching. So basically a sorority paddle is basically a paddle decorated with the person's uh, sorority information on there. Um, this is one of the Divine Nine African American sororities. It's for a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And so she wanted something that was a little different than the paddles that I usually make. So the first thing uh, to know is that most people want their specific, personalized, customized information. So in this case, I'm putting her line number, um, the actual chapter that she's in, etc. If you guys want more information on how to start a Greek business like I am doing, just let me know and I can do more videos on it. So the first thing you have to do is get wooden letters or whatever you're going to be using and you have to basically decide you know which letters you need depending on what name she wants on there what chapter she's in etc so now on these letters they are pretty thick they do have some sides and one thing I want to say is if you're doing this actually for someone that you're charging money you need to make sure you're painting every side not just the top of the letters but each side of the letters because it looks a lot more professional so I just got a regular wood paddle and I have it painted like this. I wanted to do something different. So I already have the numbers glued at the top. I know I wanted to put 1908 on there, which is the year that her sorority was founded, but I wanted to do something different on this. And she gave me a lot of leeway just to be creative. So I wanted to do a larger AKA on there with a mirror. Um, and just kind of design it in a way that I would like. So right now I'm just basically going to be going through and deciding the layout. If you're working with this before you start gluing anything down, decide your layout, where you want to put things, how it looks, and you may have to play with this several times. You want to turn this into a business as I have it's also a really good idea to learn a lot about each sorority and fraternity that you're going to be making products for like what their mascot is what colors they use um, any other like signifying things that they use that you can add on to a paddle or whatever that you're making to just make it you know a little better than what's out there on the market so like I said right now I'm just playing with the layout didn't really love this one but I am trying to make it happen these letters were pretty big so I'm having to be pretty creative with this now I did like this layout but if you see the overhang of that a and that K you also have to think about shipping you have to pack this up in a box my boxes fit my paddles pretty tight because I don't want anything to fall off or damage it and um, that wouldn't work because I feel like that, that K and that A could easily get knocked off. Also, the word silk, um, which is her line name, if you look on there, I had it situated on that pink and it kind of blended in. I didn't like that either. So now I'm just kind of measuring out some more things. I know I need to put her chapter information on there. So yeah, just watch me make it all fit. So far, this is what I have come up with, and I actually really like this. I'm still worried about that K and the A, so I'm going to adjust that a bit to make sure that it is not damaged while it's shipping, but I really like the layout so far. I think it's something really different, and now I just have to work on getting her chapter information at the bottom and going ahead and readjusting uh, the big letters here. Thing, please excuse my background I actually filmed this in our old house we were packing up to move so there is just stuff everywhere right now okay so the ivy leaf is also something that's really significant in the sorority so I wanted to find a way to incorporate that in this paddle as well so you'll see me just kind of playing with this um, just to give it something different to figure out just kind of where I want it to be 
you have not done so already, do not forget to subscribe. I make vlogs on my channels. I make clean with me's and also a lot of DIY projects. Have a ton of videos coming up, so hit that subscribe button. Okay, so this is what we're working with as far as the layout of the paddle. I actually really like it. I think it's different. I think it's super cute. I still have to put her chapter at the bottom, but those letters are in pink, so I think it will look great. Now, once you have your paddle laid out the way you want to, you can actually start gluing things down. I use E6000 glue, especially if I'm making it for clients because I want these paddles to last. These are keepsakes of their time um, in the sorority and you know, just choosing to join a lot of them order paddles when they first cross. So I want this to last as long as I can. So I'm using E6000. And of course, I get all of that glue out. Listen, E6000 is not, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. I'm using every drop. And you can also see that I use quite a bit because I want my paddles to last and I want them to be in great condition. So if you're doing a paddle like this, glue um, what I call the anchor part down first. So I know I wanted my mirror there for sure. I'm going to go ahead and let that be the first thing that I'm gluing down and then I will glue the things down around them. I'm going to have those uh, letters, those big white letters, the AKA just like that. So I'm going to start doing um, gluing that down. Now on the Ivy, the only thing about E6000 is it works perfectly. However, it takes a little time for it to bond. And I wanted that ivy leaf to go down first and then glue the letters on top of it, but I wanted to ensure that it's not moving around. So I actually opted to use super glue um, for that, that situation just because super glue glues instantly, it bonds instantly, whereas E6000, it will take it a while. Now, the only thing is this, if you're going to do this uh, paddle that I'm doing, just use a dab of super glue. I used way too much and you could kind of see it showing through, but don't worry, I fixed it. I just cut off another leaf and glued it kind of on top of that one and it was perfect, you couldn't even tell. But if you are gonna use super glue, just use a dab. So when you're using that E6000 glue, uh, whatever object that you're putting it on, go ahead and hold it down pretty firmly with your hand to make sure it bonds to that wood or whatever surface that you are gluing it on. Guys, little pro tip, major key for you. In order for your paddles not to look sloppy, especially if you're making them to sell, get a tip applicator for your E6000 glue. That way you can put it specifically on the piece that you need to glue and it doesn't, you know, with the big tip, it can easily get all over and it just looks really messy. So I am gluing the letters that will go around the mirror at this point, which is going to be her line name. And then of course, you know, I get some inspiration. So we just start gluing a whole lot of stuff. All right guys, so basically at this point, her paddle is done. If you want to stop here, you definitely can, especially if you're making it for yourself. I personally don't like to stop here. I still need to add her chapter information at the bottom, which is the location of the college that she actually crossed at, that's the, the chapter. But um, yeah, it still looks plain and I still need to pizzazz it up. Remember when you're doing this, now if you can't paint straight like I can't, you can also use things to kind of hide that. I will show you how I hide that. For now, I'm gonna put her chapter information down. I will link where I get the wooden letters from on Amazon down below. All right guys, so so far this is what it's looking like. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm still gonna doctor it up. Now that I on Phi, I did not like. It's not the right font. So I actually took it away and changed the eyes out. Um, so yeah, in the end, I don't think I put the eye back on there, but you know, of course I had to glue the eye on to melt it. So technically you can stop here, but why stop here when you can pizzazz it up? So let's get it popping. Let's, um, yeah, let's get into it here. Let's go ahead and do some more design elements on this. I 
to personalize it a bit more, I asked her what uh, date she crossed, which was spring 21. So I'm going to add that on there. I did paint it. I just wanted to decide where I wanted it to, to lay first. So I like the placement of where her chapter information is. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, except for that eye. I'm not gluing that down. You see, I skipped over it. I'm going to glue everything else and change that eye out at the end. So this is what I mean when I say the design elements. You want to make sure your paddle stands out. And this is also a great way to hide any um, not completely straight lines or places that your paint may have slipped down a bit. I'm just going through with my E6000 small tip glue and I'm just going to add some pearls. I have tons of pearls. I usually get these from Amazon. I will link where I get my pearls down below as well. I have various sizes and I wanted to go with something somewhat small since this paddle already has a lot going on. These are really great pearls and the shine is great. So I have this little container down here. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. They do sell them on Amazon and I will let you know um, where you can get one. The cool thing about it is that you can actually put your rhinestones or pearls or whatever in there, give it a shake and all of them are face up. I'm also using a picker that I got from Amazon as well. This makes it so much easier. You just tap the pearl and move it over. And if you have tried to do this using your hands or tweezers, oh, it is such a headache. So I will link all of this down below. But you see just that little bit, how cute and just, it just gives it a certain vibe. Like it's more professional, it's more clean, and the clients love this, trust me. I'm just going around some of those hard edges like around the side of the mirror just to soften it up a bit with some of the pearls. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it definitely gives it a nice touch. Another pro tip is when you put more care and detail into your paddles, you can charge more for them. Comment down below and let me know what you would have done differently on this paddle or if you like this design. All right guys, but we are not gonna start there when it comes to the design. I wanted that A, K, and the A, um, the, the big white letters to pop as well. So I am just doing dabs of glue with my little fine tip, small tip E6000, and now I am using the picker to apply pearls everywhere that I put a dab of glue. I didn't do any specific design. I'm just basically kind of putting them wherever the ancestors tell me to put them. Wherever the spirit leads me, that's where I was putting pearls. And it turned out so cute. They're almost like white on white po uh, polka dots. And you see I'm just using that tip just to dab the glue on there and just putting the pearls on there. All right guys, so this is how it turned out. I thought it was so cute, so did the person that purchased it. And you see, since that spring 21 was in the pink section, I did make it green. Now that's where I told you I used a ton of the super glue. So I had to go back in and cut a piece of leaf, of an additional leaf that I had, and just kind of glue it over there. It ended up perfect, but at first I was like, what the heck is going on? Also, you can see at the bottom, I'm still missing that eye. I went ahead and painted it and glued it after I filmed this video, but it turned out so stinking cute. Um, one more thing I do is at the top where that little hole is, I put a pretty piece of pink or green ribbon. 
just because most people that purchase this that's where I told you I was missing the eye but don't worry I glued it on but most people that purchase these want to hang them in some area of their home so I love to put a really pretty piece of ribbon on there so you guys comment down below let me know how this turned out in your opinion what you think I could have done differently or if you liked it because I absolutely liked it don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video also comment down below if there's a specific DIY that you want me to do and put my own spin on it thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye guys Thank you.